Friday. It's the Friday before Christmas on Sunday evening and Monday. I suspect that for most of you, <clears throat> you're beginning a weekend that's going to be uh, hopefully filled with um, family and friends and hopefully a slowdown in terms of what's been going on the last several weeks. The parties will probably stop. The gift buying is probably is coming to an end and you'll be faced with an opportunity of slowing down and enjoying this weekend, a long weekend perhaps. The birth of the Prince of Peace. We mark this coming Sunday on Christmas Eve in worship and then of course on Christmas Day. Jesus said, my peace I leave with you, my peace I give to you. I do not give as the world gives. Don't let your hearts be troubled and don't let them be afraid. I hope the world finds peace, greater peace at least, this weekend and into this new year, the absence of violence, of course. And I also hope and pray that, especially in this coming weekend, that you would find peace yourselves. Peace in your hearts, knowing that Christ has come and that in Jesus we have the presence of God with us. And hopefully also you find peace in your relationships, in your own journey of faith. May these next several days provide us the opportunity to slow down and enjoy this holiday and the meaning of this holiday, to take it in, the fact that God became one of us in Jesus and it changed the world forever. I pray that you might find peace this weekend. We'll worship on Sunday morning at 10 a.m., and we'll mark the fourth Sunday of Advent, and then we have two Christmas Eve worship services on Sunday at 3 p.m., our casual service, and then at 7 p.m., our traditional service. There will be carols, candlelight, and communion at both the 3 and 7 p.m. services. I'll look forward to seeing you then. You can also find us online this weekend. May God's peace be with you this Christmas.